Delphin Harold and Robert A. Bjork on the locus of retrieval inhibition in directed forgetting. So we have the quotation marks, that looks good. So this must be a chapter or a journal article. It's inside the meeting of psychonomic society. So this is not a journal, it's not a book, it's actually a meeting. So for a meeting, we need to a little, be a little bit more specific, like a conference or something like this. And you actually can find conference abstracts and sometimes some summaries of conference presentations inside Google Scholars and other databases. You also could go to a conference. Let's say you, you go to a conference and you just sit in and you listen to one of the presenters. Please, I encourage you, listen to the presenters at a conference. You can really learn a lot. It's very tiresome sometimes you go to a conference and nobody's sitting listening. It's a great opportunity to see work that's in development. If you went there and you listened, you said, hey, I heard something interesting. Would you ask that question? And you got very related to your research. How cool is that? That is really awesome. I love that. But how could you cite that? Well, one way you could cite that would be like this. So we have the authors, and then we have the title of the paper that was presented. And then we have the name of the present of the conference of the um, get together, whatever that is. And then we have the exact date, and we use the day, month, and year to lay that out. And then we have a location, Boston, Massachusetts. So in this way, we can allow the reader to narrow down the scope and find out where did this actually come from. Very helpful. Adler, Jerry, Kids Growing Up Scared, Newsweek, 1994, page 42 to 50. So this looks very straightforward, doesn't it? We have a very simple single author. We have the name of an article. We have the name of the journal. But in this case, this is not a journal. This is a magazine, M-A-G, magazine. So a magazine is a little bit different than a journal because a magazine usually comes out weekly. So the difference here is we need to add that date, a very specific date, the 2nd of January. So the day, the month, and the year because that's issued based on the day of the week. Okay, so I just want to emphasize MLA is a little bit my feeling. I could be wrong, but I feel MLA is a little bit more flexible in the way they do things. MLA is much more trying to give you a kind of guideline that is an overall look of things. It's not telling you specifically you have to do this or that. The idea is get your goal, and the goal is to allow the reader to find the source of what you're citing. Therefore, they're very good about saying, you know, let's make, a, make the, the source material and then let's go ahead and find the container material, right? That makes things very clear. That's, that's the simple graphic. There's more, right? How do we make more? We basically take this graphic and repeat it again, a little bit, a little bit shorter, just saying that this could be inside of another container, could be inside of another container. This could be a journal article, right? Inside of a journal, inside of a database, inside of something. So good luck with your references and good luck with your research.